my third commercial project in Blender, and here's how I made it. First thing was to stitch the HDRI from set, import and prep the car model and the rotoscope footage, rig the digi doubles using AutoRig Pro, then match move the digital doubles for about 100 frames to the actors, then it was time to drive the car into frame using the RBC add on, and then animate the CG characters getting out. And I'm not gonna lie, I had no idea how to animate this convincingly, so I was literally just making it up as I went, using some reference footage from the films and leaning on some of my background in parkour and gymnastics for the body movements. Then after all that, it was finally time for the main course, Transformer. So the first step was to break down the car into all of its components, then parent and relink them all into collections to prep for the animation work. So after organizing literally thousands of different car parts into the main pieces like the doors and chairs, it was time to rig and weight paint them all to animate. With surprisingly no experience in folding a car into origami, I had to make it up as I went. So for the animation, my guiding principle was that the car would expand and then shrink into two big chunks at the front and back. And not gonna lie, this part was pretty fun. It was basically the adult version of playing with Transformers. Then it was on to generating a spatial diffusion field to calculate some geonode math to turn my objects into liquid metal. Then a little bit of texturing for realism, some smoke via Embergen, we love Embergen. Then compiling it all together in Nuke with some scary spaghetti node trees. And then finally some sound design in Premiere and using my trusty drivable engine simulator to get the accurate V8 sound. Coming together for this, my third professional project in Blender.